evening. Uh-uh. Good evening now. Uh, are you sleeping? What's wrong with you? <laughs> My name is Yaseki. I am wife number one. Number one. I am mother to his first son and mother to his first daughter. I am good. And then silver, bronze, even charcoal came along. If we are to get uh, the world reading, if we're to get Africa reading, if we get Nairobi reading, perhaps this is a way of getting people to be introduced to books. It's absolutely, absolutely enchanting. Great to finally see that you know people are, are understanding and applauding it and coming to watch um, stagings, dramatizations of novels because I think that's the only way that people really understand how sweet the African story is. The challenge is to try and bring either folk tales or contemporary novels and to perform them in a way that's different. It's a way to attract new audiences, but at the same time preserve what is truly ours, which is an African oral storytelling tradition. When I got to Babasweke's house, I was struck by how dirty everything was. The curtains were soiled. Even his wives, the aging goats and their shameless touch were dirty. <laughs> But then Baba Sagi showed me to my room and the bed was big and soft. I had never felt anything like it before. I now know why you rich people, you sleep so much more than us Papa. I tell you, the next morning, I woke up like I had been suspended in mid-hair. Not even God that made me leave Baba Sagi's house after that day. <laughs> So it's a story about women surviving in any way that they can, being very cunning. Um, there are some incredibly sad moments as well when one of the women talks about her rape ordeal and so many women go through it, you know. And so to be able to raise these issues through li literature and then to bring them to a new audience through performance um, is an extreme privilege and I hope we can continue doing it. It was magical, it brought life. Of his four wives, she was the only graduate. Baba Segi told the men how she was tight like a bottleneck. <laughs> and when he bottled her, her eyes crossed. <laughs> how was he going to tell the men gathered here today that all his pounding had proved futile? Omo, drag her to the herbalist. Ola had shouted. Haba! Atanda replied. Do you want to land our friend Baba Sagi in jail? Um, adapting the novel into a performance was quite challenging because I loved the novel so much and I kept thinking, oh, I can't leave that out and I can't leave that out. And so it was quite hard to select um, what to include and still make sure that I remain true to the full novel. How I lived for four years. Three days of pummeling from Baba Segi and one day of healing. It's a 
fabulous way to discover African literature in a new way. It's not a theatre production, it's not your traditional play, it's just that storyteller and the audience. And every single time they create a new form of magic.